Good morning on this Sunday, November 26th. Yes, it's the 26th. Uh, I'm happy it's Sunday. I'm not so happy it's Sunday because that means my four-day weekend is over. I do have to go back to work tomorrow, which I really don't want to do. But at least I'm working from home and I'm only working for five hours because, whoops, sorry, I'm trying to put my rings back on. I just put lotion on and uh, trying to put my rings back on. Anyhow, um, I am working from home tomorrow because I'm heading into DC tomorrow night. Um, so I'm only working a couple of hours from home tomorrow and then heading down to DC uh, in the afternoon evening time frame. Um, let's see what else. I am about to film an Epic Beauty Fill video. Uh, after that, I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we are thinking about running to a restaurant that sells German food. Because there's, a, when we were out in Pittsburgh on Labor Day weekend, we uh, went to this restaurant that John really, really enjoyed. And there's a restaurant by the same name about 45 minutes to an hour from us which is way closer than the four hours it takes us to get to pittsburgh so we're thinking about going there it's the same name it is not the same menu though so it's not the same restaurant but we might give it a try i don't know it's almost new actually it's about 11 30 right now 11 15 11 30 somewhere in there so i do want to get this video started because i want to do a um uh, foundation review today um i don't know if you can see i've got all my foundations that i have bought <laughs> don't mind all the mess uh all the foundations that i have bought um that i have not tried yet sitting on my table there um and I have them sort of like in groups. So I have like high-end foundation, I've got found, uh, drugstore foundation, powder foundation, stick foundation, and then like cushion slash gel slash uh, cream foundation, like the solid creams. Um, and then I have one like luxury foundation. I have a Kevin Kwan foundation that I got like like 40 or 50% off on uh, how it look, how it look. Outlook, Outlook, however you say that. Um, so I think I'm gonna do those that one later in the year, uh, and just get a couple more of those. I'm trying, like, I'm doing five days of foundation every month, so uh, I think I'll do that one like um, later in the year. Do like luxury foundations later in the year. So my question that I'm going through my head right now is, which one do I want to start with? I think I might start with uh, drugstore foundations, actually. So, because I have like 10 drugstore foundations that I want to try. So I might start there. And then like, I'm, I'm going to do like liquid drugstore, liquid high end. And then like the stick foundation, the cushion foundation, the powder foundation, those are all going to be like mixes of drugstore and high end. So, but the liquid foundations I'm going to split up. I think that's how I'm going to do it. I don't know. Right now I have... Uh, seven months worth of foundations to try um, yeah and I just bought three more last night on Beautylish because I bought a cream foundation and then I bought two more um, drugstore they're from the ordinary brand so they're like cheap they're like six ninety or seven dollars I think they're like six ninety um, so they're more like drugstore foundations. So yeah. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point because I'm feeling a little overwhelmed trying to decide what to do with this video. Uh, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna get to it because if I don't start it soon, I'm not gonna get it done because I wanna leave it on for at least eight to 10 hours. So if I don't have it filmed by 12 o'clock, then I can pretty much forget it. So I gotta get going. I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right, well, I'm in horrible lighting right now. But um, no. I, uh, we are heading for a road trip. I am in the middle of filming a foundation review today. So I have a full face of makeup. I Ooh. normally don't leave the house with this much makeup on. And even when I do leave the house with makeup on, I normally don't do like a look like this, where I've got like 
crazy dark like these are dark eyes for me now it's not black but it's a smoky purple and uh, I don't normally wear this dark of eyes so but we're gonna go get something to eat we're gonna do a little bit of a road trip we're gonna go somewhere about 45 minutes from where we are right now I'm getting my purse out of the way so I don't get hit don't uh, drop it or something but I don't know we are gonna go get something to eat are you guys excited yes like German food yeah oh yeah thanks Not German shot food. Of it's got pretzels and cheese buddy I don't know that they have pretzels and cheese they might yeah have you're trying to say pop they, I know they have uh, mustard probably. they yeah. do have mustard mm. so Anyway, uh, we're going to go for this drive and hopefully enjoy ourselves and not fight too much. That would be nice. But, everybody excited? Oh, go go German food? Yeah. Right, Nick? Go German food. Where'd Nick go? Where'd Nick go? Hey, hey. There he is. Nick is in a little bit of a grouchy mood right now. I don't know about that. Ow. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. Bye. They have some pretty neat beer steins, as my husband told me. They're called, they're not called cups. So, <clears throat> pretty neat place. We're eating now, and we'll see you later. All right, guys, we ate our lunch, dinner, meal. What do you guys think about it? What was, how was your meal? Me? Yeah, you. Mine was not bad. It was a, sort of a, a German uh, cheesesteak. Okay. With uh, a breaded, Cutlet. Mm hmm. Uh, so, okay, the sauerkraut was really good. Yeah. That probably How sauerkraut was, was best. It's fine. How was yours? Good. Mine was okay. It was a little overcooked, but it was okay. I got potato dumplings, and they were like these two big dumplings, and I've never eaten anything like that before. It was very odd. It was bad. If anyone is interested, it's sitting right here behind us. It's called the Hofbrauhaus. There's the sign for the parking. Right there. Hofbrauhaus. But it is not the same restaurant that we went to in Pittsburgh in any way, shape, or form. And John said he wants to go there for his lunch or for his uh, birthday dinner. So it looks like we're going out to Pittsburgh in February because that's when John's birthday is. So. Anyhow, I don't know why there's so many cars driving through. Where are we? Abbottstown? Something like that? Yes. <clears throat> there's a lot of cars driving through Abbottstown right now. And my makeup is looking really bad. I'm not liking it at all. And my lipstick looks horrendous. It just totally wiped off. So, Anyhow, we're going to get it back on the road. I think we're just going to go home because these guys don't have any idea where they want to go. And, uh, yeah. These guys don't have any idea. We're in Abbottstown. Where, what, what else? Are, where, what are we going to do over here? I don't know. We could go to Hanover. We could go to York. We could go home. We could go to Harrisburg. We could go to Carlisle. We could go to... Why don't we go to... Why don't we go to uh, the Hanover Pretzel Place? Because it's Sunday. I don't think it's open. Oh. Well, My lipstick looks horrible. Okay. And I didn't bring it with me. How about we go home? How about we go home? Sounds good. All right. We're going to go home. We'll see y'all later. Bye. And we are home. It's about 4.15. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know why I'm tired. I'm just tired. Anyhow, um, I think the guys are going to watch football the rest of the day. And I'm actually going to go upstairs and film a video real quick. Uh, I'm at 195 subscribers. And... Any day now, we're going to hit 200 on Epic Beauty Fail, and I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to go upstairs and film that, that video because it might happen this week. So, And I do have a slot open uh, one of the days this week on Epic Beauty Fail that I could, I could do that um, 200 subscriber giveaway video. So I think I'm going to go upstairs and film that, even though my skin is looking quite horrendous. Um, I might just powder it. And see how it goes. I gotta reapply my lipstick or apply a different lipstick or something. But um, yeah, 
we'll see. But I think I'm going to go film that now. Uh, and we'll see you guys in a little while. Bye. All right, guys. It is 9 o'clock. And I just filmed my um, wrap-up video for this uh, foundation review. Uh, it's going to be posting January 1st. This is my first of my five days of, of foundation that I'm going to be doing for January. Um, I have another one set up already on the table for tomorrow. Up here in front, I've got all my makeup set up. Because I'm going to get up tomorrow morning, set, uh, do my face, and then um, get to work. Because I'm working from home tomorrow. I have to work for five hours tomorrow because I am traveling. And I have three hours allotted for travel time tomorrow. Because I'm going down to D.C. for the week. So that's what these other bags are for. This bag and this heavy bag. Those are... The big heavy bag is my makeup, the, the littler bag, the pink bag, the, well, they're both pink. This one, it just has brushes in it. So just has brushes, <laughs> actually has brushes and setting powder and something else, something else in there. Anyway, um, those are coming with me to DC. The other stuff on the table is ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, what else? I have to pack my clothes yet. I haven't done that and quite honestly I would rather drive to DC in the evening I do get three hours allotted like I, I don't get uh, overtime pay for traveling in the evening um, so I do get three hours allotted for travel so that's why I'm only working for five hours so I'll probably work for five hours and then take an hour to pack an hour to eat uh, just chill out for a little while with my family and then head down uh, I'll probably leave here maybe around 5 36 o'clock tomorrow to head down there because um, by the time I hit the traffic area it sh if I leave here at 6 I should be hitting the uh, heavy traffic area about 7 15 7 30 and um, hopefully it won't be too bad and I'll get there in two and a half hours instead of three hours uh, really nice traffic like when I used to work down there uh, the first several months that I worked down there, I actually had an apartment and I would leave here Sunday night and drive down there to my apartment. So I would be able to work Monday morning and Sunday night, like I could make it in two hours, like from my house to my apartment in two hours flat. No problem. Sometimes even a little bit less. Cause it's actually from my house to my apartment was like 80 miles or something like that. Maybe, maybe 90 miles. Um, so there was some traffic. It wasn't like all easy going, but it was like really good compared to what normal DC traffic is. If you've ever been in DC traffic, you'll totally understand what I'm saying. Um, anyhow, I am probably going to leave here around six o'clock tomorrow so that I can get there no later than nine, get checked into my room and then get everything unpacked and then probably just stay up and watch YouTube for a couple of hours um, or edit videos because I have a couple of videos in the hopper to edit. Probably not enough. I should have more, but I don't. So maybe one of the things we'll film tomorrow. Well, no, because I'm going to do the, hmm, I don't know. I was going to say maybe one of the things we'll film tomorrow before I leave is the uh, face mask video. I don't know. A lot of it depends on what time I get my, my makeup on in the morning because I want to do at least eight hours in the foundation. That's my goal between eight and ten hours. Um depending on what time I get my foundation on in the morning will depend on what time I can take it off. So if I get it on by eight, 10, 11, 12, so I would only need to wear it to, like till about four, four thirty. So I would have time to still eat dinner and John and I to film a face mask video. So maybe that's what we'll do. Cause I do need the face mask video for next week, next Wednesday. So anyhow, um, I think that's going to be it for the night. I am, going to go downstairs. I'm going to wash this makeup off my face because although I still like my eye look, I think my eye look actually turned out really nice today. Um, although, <laughs> listen to me talk myself up. Um, although I, I like my eye look, this foundation, look, it's gone. This is, this is, this is not good. So I don't know that I've said it in the vlog yet. If I have, then you know, if not, you'll have to wait until January 1st to see what foundation I had on today. But it didn't work for my skin. <laughs> not at all. And I did not sit here like this all afternoon because I was editing videos all evening. So 
uh, yeah, I would not recommend this foundation. Stay tuned, January 1st, it'll get posted. So anyhow, I think that's going to be it for the evening. So I hope you guys had a great day. I hope today was better than yesterday, and I hope tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. I hope you all had a good day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.